Right now on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs, a culinary connection between Louisville and Louisiana. Ever since I was little, I, we were making jambalaya and gumbo for, for Christmas. We're cooking with the chef and owner of Lulu Food and Drink and revealing some good secrets that you can use in your own kitchen. Oh, is that going to yeah. flame up? Oh, yeah. yeah. Now we're talking Nola. We're revealing everything. Right now on Secrets of Bluegrass Chef. Hi everybody and welcome to Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. I'm Kevin Harnett along with my broadcast partner Tim Laird. We welcome you in here to Paris Town in our kitchen theater. I'll tell you what Kevin, it's a great day to be in kitchen theater, especially if you're a fan of southern style cuisine. And who doesn't like that, right? <laughs> this time we're digging into a variety of southern styles of cooking, starting out with Creole cuisine from Louisiana in the form of jambalaya. And Tim, we're doing dessert too. It doesn't get any sweeter than this. Lulu's famous vanilla bourbon caramel bread pudding. Mmm. Yeah. We're going to learn the secrets to making all of it. So what do you say we get cooking? Let me welcome to the kitchen theater with us, Lulu's owner, general manager, and the man himself, Jared Matthews. Hey, good to see and you guys. All right. the executive chef, good Christian, is here. Hello. Hello, hello. I'll tell you what, Kevin and I always like to uh, go to uh, Lulu Food and Drink because it's just a wonderful spot and they have a great bar there. Did you know that, Kevin? I, I did. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I knew that. I knew you knew that. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit, Jared, uh, sort of about your path through Louisville. Yeah, I moved here from Mobile, Alabama when I was in fifth grade. Uh, I'm originally from Louisiana, Marksville, Louisiana, which nobody has ever heard of. Uh, but I've never met anybody. I was like, yeah, I'm from Marksville. And they're like, no clue where that is. So, and there was about 800 people in that, uh, that town. But uh, my parents, they learned the cuisine down there. So ever since I was little, I, we were making jambalaya and gumbo for, for Christmas. Uh, yeah, so they, and we were always doing the uh, crawfish boils in the neighborhood. So people just, when we moved to Louisville, there wasn't a whole lot of people that knew that cuisine or really they took to it well once we, you know, shoved it down their, their throats. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, it was just there was a very unique uh, uh, niche in this in this town for that. And Christian, how long have you been with the uh, organization? Oh, everything. It's a long time. You go for Lulu for twelve years. Wow. Twelve yeah. years. Yeah. Twelve so years. That's yeah. actually that's a lot. <laughs> that is. Yeah, I love it. Thank you for your comment for testing my food. Thank you for everybody for coming over here. Yeah, yeah. He, he's yes. the he's the heart. Yeah. Christian is the heartbeat of Lulu. He is what makes the train run. He is unbelievable. Well, so, and today's the heartbeat of our show. So, uh, Christian, we're going to let you explain to us what we're making up first today. Yeah, I make a jambalaya first. Yes, all right. Uh, shrimp, crawfish, and toy rice. Oh, oh my awesome. Gosh. Sounds right. like a little bit of everything. All right, well, let's get started. Uh, you, you can walk us through it, and Jared can comment on what we're seeing. And He's going to start with the Holy Trinity, which is known as Louisiana Cuisine, it's the carrots, the celery, the peppers, the onions. Basically saute that in butter is what he's gonna do. That's always good. So, oh yeah. Always butter good. makes it better. Butter does make it better, yep. And of course everything down there seems to begin with the Holy Trinity. Right, it does. Yeah. By the way, unbelievable cutting. I mean, this is a professional chef cuts on all this stuff. This is amazing. Right. Thank you, thank you. I, I can't get that fine a dice with one of those machines, you know, they, uh, they, yeah. they sell. I'm telling you, Christian really is. He is, he is the heartbeat of our, our restaurant. Um, yo, that's just a little diced tomatoes there. I mean, just the colors of that. I mean, that is a beautiful yeah. dish. Uh, right. That also went, went in there, Chef? Oh, you yeah. had a little bit of... Uh, tomato paste. Tomato paste. Yeah. yeah, so you put tomato paste, and in that, these spices, it's oregano, it's thyme, it's salt and it's red pepper flakes, so. You want to get all the peppers and all that soaked in those spices. I mean, that's, that's the key mm. to it. So, there's some chicken, chicken, uh, chicken stock there. That, this is the Chipotle uh, Tabasco. Okay. All right, we're gonna let that simmer for a minute, okay. and then he is going to put it in a big pot. All right, and, well, I'll, I'll tell yeah. you, while that yeah. simmers, it's a good time sure. for a commercial break. We'll take a quick break. If everybody's cool with that, we'll come back with more of the jambalaya. Christian, hard at work from Lulu Food and Drink. We'll be right back with more Secrets of Bluegrass Chef. 
Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs is a presentation of the Kentucky Beef Council. Beef is still what's for dinner. Authentic Mexican cuisine at Gustavo's with five locations, including one on Hurstbourne Parkway. It's food that goes way beyond burritos and tacos with everything from sizzling fajitas to seafood. The bar is stocked with bourbon and one of the best selections of tequila in the area and Gustavo's own Vida de Reyes Mexican lager with a hint of jalapeno. Taste and feel the authenticity at Gustavo's Mexican Grill in Crestwood, LaGrange, Prospect, Norton Commons, and now on Hurstbourne. Open every day for lunch and dinner. Gustavo's Mexican Grill. Zucker is spotlighting local restaurants in Kentuckyana. Download the free Zucker app and save at hundreds of local restaurants right from your mobile phone. Here's Diana from Milantoni Italian Restaurant. Hi guys, this is Diana Pastrana at Milantoni. Here I have some of our most popular dishes. We're gonna start off with the chicken fettuccine alfredo. This is our handmade meal lovers pizza. Lastly, we have our ravioli granole with our three homemade sauces. We are following the CDC and state guidelines by wearing masks, gloves, and following its sanitizing schedule. We have available curbside, carry out, or drive through, or dine in with us. Come and see us here at your Mill and Tony's family. Go to the deal marketplace of the free Zucker app and select Mill and Tony Italian Restaurant. Choose the deal you want and save 50% while knowing you're helping a local restaurant. While on the Zucker app, join Mill and Tony Italian Restaurant's VIP Loyalty Club and receive exclusive offers via email and text message. Download Zucker and start saving big. The Wine Rack. Bringing you wines, beers, spirits, and cheeses of the world for over 18 years. Local, independent, and now offering delivery from the heart of Crescent Hill and online at wineshoplouisville.com. How do you like that? If you like Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs on TV, you'll love to see it in person. Great time. Fabulous. Join us at the Secrets Kitchen Theater in Louisville's historic Paris town. This is a great experience. I love that. Watch top chefs reveal their secrets. And I don't really hold back on this stuff. Mm. And then taste everything they make. I love this. Delicious. You can also enjoy all the other fun and shopping Paris town has to offer while you're there. We had a really good time. Get your tickets now online at mintjuliptours.com. And hurry, because space is limited. This is so good and so popular. Watch Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs on TV and see it in person by going to mintjuliptours.com. It was outstanding. Make your reservations today. Still cooking. Appreciate you sharing the secrets. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. I'm Kevin Harned. He's Tim Laird. We're cooking in the kitchen with Christian and Jared from Lulu Food and Drink, and it is great to see you guys put this jambalaya together. We went to the commercial break with sort of this trinity and the uh, tomatoes and the paste and the special ingredients, and we said that needed to simmer a little while. What's going to be the next step? Uh, I need cake and string and a crawfish. So now we're going to take the shrimp and the crawfish, a little butter. Those look good. Oh, yeah. Take no time to cook. It's very yeah. quick. The whole dish itself is fairly fast. So yeah. Oh, if yeah. you wanted to do it at home, you could see, you know, we're doing it in the whole half hour of the TV show here, so you can yep. do it yourself. We make five gallons at a time, and uh, I think you can get it done in, what, 25, 30 minutes usually? Now he's a beast, so, I mean, right. anybody else would probably take an hour, hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, we do five gallons at a time, five gallons of gumbo, five gallons of jambalaya in 30 minutes, so. And if yeah. you made it at home, I suppose you could freeze it and just oh, yeah. pull it Absolutely. out when you wanted it. Yeah. Or go buy it. Easy. At, that's, uh, that's usually right, right. Right. Little you food need, and drink. Yeah, and, you don't even uh, have to it make home. it at home. Just come to our restaurant. We'll supply it for you. Now, if you, if you actually go down to my house, I have two freezers full of like, gumbo and jambalaya. <laughs> and my wife's not a fan at all no? of Cajun food. So she's like, can we, we have a whole freezer dedicated to Cajun food. I'm like, I never know. Just in case friends stop by. Yeah. You're like late night gumbo right yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, we do all, every, every quarter too. Like uh, during in September, we do a Cajun cook off. So we do like a buffet style. I'm uh, just kind of kicking off football where we do like authentic crawfish mac and cheese. We'll do 
We'll do a, uh, a low country boil, which is basically shrimp instead of crawfish. So. And speaking of crawfish, they just went in the pan there. Yep. And these are the tails, right? Are they seasoned too, or is it just uh, just the tails? Got, those are just the tails. Okay. So it'll it'll season up because it'll pick up all the up. flavors from yep, the pan exactly. and also from the shrimp and the butter and then of course from the other jambalaya. That's yeah. right. Are there yeah. jambalaya fans in the audience? All right. Good. Yeah. I see some of the sausage going yep. in. That's andouille sausage. Yes. So. Gives it a little spice and mm -hmm. a little kick. Oh, I yeah. love that. A little Cajun. And what that, was that? So this is the smoked chicken. So this is, we have uh, a green egg out back. We smoked the chicken about 24 hours. It's, it's Wow, nice. how about it's that? Yeah. Right there on property. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, we actually, we got about four of those going. We have two two at Lulu and two at Eklis. So, yeah. yeah, our neighbors are like behind us. Like, dude, seriously, like you're just making us hungry, <laughs> all, <laughs> making us hungry all the time. They're swiping so. what's on the grill all the I thought I put a chicken on there. No, yeah. I guess not. <laughs> All right, so that all goes in. That simmers for just a little while longer, I yep. suppose. Get all those flavors married up together. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, you uh, have to have something to serve it on top of. That's right. We got the dirty rice there. So we have the dirty rice that we make in-house as well. So basically just start with your regular uh, dirty rice, and then we do Worcestershire in there and our secret spices, which I told you about was a regular time. <laughs> they're not a secret anymore. Yeah, not a secret anymore. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is the whole secret to Lula. Right? Yeah, that's right. And, <laughs> so, yeah, we're revealing everything, so. Um, oh. Slicing up the chives there that we uh, did. Oh, yeah. yeah. Knife work, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Kevin and I would have lost a finger on yeah. that one. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Probably yeah. four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It smells delicious. It does. And you guys smell it out there? Yeah. One of these days, people at home, one of these days, smell a vision. <laughs> Hang in there. Of course, you can always be in their seats if you want just by logging on to mintjuleptours.com. That's how the audience gets their way to the uh, studio. And part of that reward is soon everybody will be sampling, tasting everything we make today. Yes, yes. So we've already got the rice sort of pre-made. Folks at home can do that. Uh, that's fairly easy to do, and uh, yeah, that'll so be the base. Yeah, of the so this is our dirty rice that we make. Uh, it basically has Worcestershire, oregano, thyme, paprika, uh, red pepper flakes. Okay. So really good, and we basically just put it on in there. Like I said, mm. that's the difference. It, that's the difference between like gumbo and jambalaya. This is more like kind of sauteed, and the rice is sauteed in the dish. Gotcha. Whereas gumbo is a little bit more brothy, a little bit more stew. So. Plus, all that rice gets all the flavors, and the other one sometimes it's served over the rice. Yeah. But now this is in there, getting all mixed up. Yep. Oh, I yeah. like that. So good. So good. Very hearty dish. Oh yeah, it's a good one. Yes, it is. And then, of course, that'll just simmer in there for just a little yep. bit. If you have the rice already pre-done like you guys did, it's uh, essentially just going to warm up and then be ready to eat. That's it. That's you, it. You even All have right. the New Orleans uh, beer, Abita, right, on tap? We right? do. Yeah, so, we do have Abita on there. I'm just there. thinking about the, that would go great with this dish right now. Yeah. You didn't bring any, did you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I thought you were spotting the alcohol tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've seen the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right, let's plate, plate it up, up if we're ready. This yeah. is going to be delicious. Oh, and there's no wrong in how you pop this on a plate, right? Oh, no, not at all. Not at all. Just throw it on there. Just make sure you've got a fork to go along with That's it. That's right. That's like at our uh, crawfish boils. We have the, you know, a lot of people do the newspaper, and you just, you don't put it on a plate. You just throw it out there. Exactly. So. And then we top it with just a few chives that yeah. were freshly chopped. Yeah. Beautiful. Right there. There you go. And there you have it, the awesome jambalaya from Lulu Food and Drink. You know what I'm excited about, Kevin? What's that? When we come back, one of my favorite desserts. Oh. Do you know what it is? A little bread pudding? Yes! Yeah! We'll be revealing the secrets to that. The audience will take a taste of this, and we've got more secrets of bluegrass chefs when we come back. Stay with us. 
Ditto's, one of the region's top chefs, is preparing your next meal, like the French Quarter Pork Chop Portofino or Ditto's Chicken Marsala and Citrus Salad. Ditto's Grill, delightful, delectable, delicious. It's got to be Ditto's. Bardstown Road at Grinstead Drive. Zooker is the free app to find great deals to local restaurants and merchants. Find coupons, join local businesses' loyalty clubs, and play games right from your mobile phone. Save 50% at local restaurants like Schlotzky's, Wing Zone, Rita's Taco Shop, and many more. Help support local businesses while you save money. Check out all the great deals on Zooker. Download Zooker and start saving big today. X-O-O-K-E-R. Zooker. Make food service easier with help from Dine Company, the restaurant store. If you prep, cook, or serve food, we serve you. Shop Louisville's largest selection of new and used food equipment and smallwares in store or online at dinecompany.com. Experience the difference our people make at Dine Company, family owned and operated since 1982. Originally in Tribeca, New York City, Rock is now in Louisville. Rock offers homemade and fresh quality food with an extensive wine and bourbon list. I will ensure that your Italian experience will be memorable. Rock on Barstown Road. Ciao, a presto. Come on, Hornet, back with you on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. And right now, it's time for another Wine Find with John Johnson at the Wine Rack. Today, Kevin, we have two exciting Italian wines, one Bianco, one Rosso. The Bianco, the white wine, is from an area called Custoza. Custoza is in the Veneto. Um, it's from a winery called Cavalchina. They actually created this region, didn't exist before. Drinks a lot like a very crisp Sauvignon Blanc, has a nice lemony, citrusy quality but a little bit of creaminess, just enough to keep it from being too tart. It's something interesting that you can bring to a friend's house for dinner, something different than the typical Pinot Grigio. I think that uh, you'll find it exciting. Over on the red side, on the Rosso, we have a classic. Uh, this is called a Rosso di Montalcino, also known as Baby Brunello. That's the type of grape. Brunellos are expensive. They're great, they're awesome. They have the longest aging requirements of any uh, red wine in Italy, it's five years minimum. Rosso's are released a little earlier. Same grape type, 100% Sangiovese Grosso, but meant to be a little more approachable, a little easier on your pocketbook. You don't have to wait nearly as long as to enjoy them. Uh, a lot of definite cherry notes to this wine, a little bit of licorice, a little bit of white pepper. Goes well with everything from chicken, to salmon, uh, to of course beef, this is a great way to get to know that grape varietal with an everyday kind of price. You'll find these two fantastic Italian wines, and many more wines from around the world at the Wine Rack. Come see us. Cheers. Thanks, John. Stick around. We have more secrets of bluegrass chefs coming up. The Wine Rack, bringing you wines, beers, spirits, and cheeses of the world for over 18 years. Local, independent, and now offering delivery from the heart of Crescent Hill and online at wineshoplouisville.com. Kentucky in style with Mint Julep Tours. Experiences for all your senses. Bourbon distilleries, horse country, Kentucky breweries and wineries. Culinary tours with special access to secrets of bluegrass chefs. Hassle-free fun for any size group, including corporate excursions and exclusive behind-the-scenes experiences crafted just for you. Mint Julep Tours, where the purpose of fun is to have some. 
I'm Tim Laird, back with more Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs, and it's time to take our taste buds on a trip to one of Kentucky's amazing state parks. This time, we're surrounded by mountains and towering pines at Jenny Wiley State Park in eastern Kentucky. This park has a marina where you can rent pontoons, kayaks, and canoes to take out on Dewey Lake. And at the Resort Lodge, you can enjoy some of the best food in Kentucky, like this, Jenny Wiley's Butter Soy Pork Chop, made by Chef Frank Bentley. We got a 10 ounce pork chop, porterhouse pork chop. We grill this off on both sides. There's pretty diamonds on there. We're gonna take it off, we're gonna throw it in the pan, and it's gonna go in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. For one pork chop, you can take about three tablespoons of butter and just add you one part soy, which is one teaspoon of soy to it, stir it up, and just layer it on your pork chop. It makes it delicious and it also helps the moisture of the pork too once it soaks in. It's one of the best pork chops you'll have. Bon appetit. Olive oil is an essential part of a healthy, low cholesterol diet, and it comes in all flavors at Z Olive, home to the finest extra virgin olive oils from around the world. And you can try all of them before you buy. Z Olive also has a wide variety of fine balsamic vinegars, great locale flavorings for everything from ice cream to steaks, marinades, and glazes. Z Olive makes the perfect gift, or make it your secret ingredient. Taste the finest at Z Olive in Westport Village. Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs is a presentation of the Kentucky Beef Council. Beef is still what's for dinner. Tim Laird with you again on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs in our kitchen theater at Paris Town. If you haven't discovered Paris Town yet, you've got to come down here. There's great shopping at the historic Stoneware & Company showroom. You can even paint your own stoneware. And of course, Paris Town is also home to our Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs Kitchen Theater, where we have a fantastic studio audience. <laughs> and we've got also an incredible duo from Lulu Food and Drink cooking with us today. How was the jambalaya? <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Yep. Boom. All right, the jambalaya down, but now you know what it's time for. Bread pudding! Dessert time. All right, before we jump into the dessert, let's talk a little bit about people say, Lulu Food and Drink, uh, where'd that come about from? Yeah, so Louisville, Louisiana. There you Lou, go. Lou. Lou, so it's L-O-U, L-O-U, Food and Drink. Yeah. Find us on the web, you know? So, a lot of people easy way are like, to think oh, about it. Oh, makes <laughs> sense. All right, well, let's dive into the Lulu Food and Drink. Uh, unbelievable bread pudding. I know everybody loves this. It's a favorite on the menu. Yeah, this is one, honestly, I mean, it took, it took a lot for me to come out here and give you the secret to this bread pudding. So, <laughs> so this, this is a good one right here. So we're gonna start, we just start by with some brioche buns. Chef Christian right here is gonna chop them up and we'll, we'll take it from there. Okay. Show you the secrets. That is amazing, brioche buns. So it's just the audience that are going to know about this, right? right. I mean, yeah, there's yeah, no, man. no TV Nobody here. Nobody watches okay. the show. Right. Don't anybody tell anybody. This it's is a only secret. been on for a couple dozen years. <laughs> <laughs> so this is basically kind of the sauce that we, we make when we pour it over top of it and we bake it in the oven. Okay. Put three eggs in there, whisk it around right there. All right. As he's doing. I'm curious to see what other That's how you build the forearm, too. It's a workout, too. So everybody. <laughs> Oh, what do we have here? Yeah. So what this is is just vanilla right there. It's for the vanilla flavoring right there. Nice measurement. Yeah, go. Chef knows exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, all of a sudden that destroyed it. I could never make it at home now. It's like, I don't know. Yeah. For that, you're doing, you're doing about uh, two ounces of what that is what that was. That, that goes a long way, so. <laughs> and then sugar. Yeah, that's a little sugar right there. It's, it's, this, is, this is the major step right here. He's doing, he's doing a little heavy, heavy cream there. Heavy too. cream. Yeah. Extra heavy cream, oh, heavy. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's about two pints in there, so. And a decent amount of it, I see. Yeah. Got about two pints, and that is another uh, lifeblood of our, our restaurant. We, we, use, we go through cream. a lot of heavy cream. <laughs> <laughs> so he okay. pours that in there, oh. like, like so. Just kind of give it a little coating on top, and of course it'll settle in on the bottom. And then you let that soak in there for a little yeah, while? Yeah, well you just, we're going to cook it in the oven, 
45 minutes, then we kind of take it out after 45 minutes, kind of move it around, put it for another 45 minutes. Now, some minutes. recipes, as Tim, I think, was alluding to, would call for that to sort of sit there and soak that up for a little longer. Yeah. You all put it right in? Or we put, we put it right in. Okay. You, can, you can let it soak. I mean. Throw it right in the oven? What, yeah. what do we have the time? Well, I'll tell you so. what. How about you guys try our bread pudding and let us know if we need to let it soak? <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the secrets challenge. That's it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> So that's an hour and a half in the oven. Yep, the hour and a half in the oven. oven. And then he is going to show you now the bourbon sauce that we put okay. on top of it after nice. it cooked. All right, so yeah. we've added just a little brown sugar yep. to the butter. Yep. Nice. And just get that nice and incorporated, kind of melt that sugar down. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Oh, is that going to yeah. flame up? Now we're talking Nola. Might give us a little warning the next time, Christian. I think you just, I think you just took the hair off the top of my head. <laughs> Is that what happened to us? Oh man, I was wondering. Woo! All right. I'm all singed up over here. Right. And he put a little heavy cream in there. I don't know if y'all saw that. So I didn't see a thing. I can't see a thing. All right. I think our, uh, it's been about an hour and a half. I think our, hold on, let me check out. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah. Don't burn yourself. Let me, go ahead, let me go ahead and slice a piece up real quick, and we're going to put that right here. There it is. Oh, there it is. Wow. All right. Perfect. Oh. Right there. Perfect. So. Wow. There you go. That's the bourbon caramel. I don't think you're all going to like this. If you don't want your piece, just let me know. Then we just, you can make, you can buy your own caramel, you can make your own caramel. We make ours in house, so you just drizzle some caramel on there. Oh my gosh. And then a little powdered sugar. Bam. Wow, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Christian Garay. Yes. Nicely Thank done. You. Christian, you're the man. Yep. All right, if you're looking for them, you can find them, of course, online, but it's probably more advantageous to go to their location. It's Lulu Food and Drink. People looking for you. Easy to find. Yep. Tell them where you yep. are. Yep, we're Matthews. in St. Matthews, 108 Sears Avenue, behind the old Sears uh, building, right next to a really good restaurant called Equus Jack's. It's amazing. It's right next door to it. Uh, <laughs> Which he happens to own as well. <laughs> so, thank you for uh, what you've done on the show today. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it having yeah, us. Excellent. Thank you very much. Excellent, excellent. We've got to say goodbye for now. For Tim Laird, I'm Kevin Hart, and thank you guys for being here. We appreciate you for watching. We'll see you next time on Secrets of Bluegrass Chef. How do you like that? If you like Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs on TV, you'll love to see it in person. Great time. Fabulous. Join us at the Secrets Kitchen Theater in Louisville's historic Paris town. This is a great experience. I love that. Watch top chefs reveal their secrets. And I don't really hold back on this stuff. Mm. And then taste everything they make. I love this. Delicious. You can also enjoy all the other fun and shopping Paris Town has to offer while you're there. We had a really good time. Get your tickets now online at mintjuleptours.com. And hurry, because space is limited. This is so good and so popular. Watch Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs on TV and see it in person by going to mintjuleptours.com. It was outstanding. Make your reservations today. Still cooking. Appreciate you sharing the secrets. Riverhouse Restaurant and Raw Bar, now open for lunch and dinner seven days a week. Featuring the cuisine of Chef John Veronese with a Southern-inspired menu and an emphasis on seafood with a spectacular Raw Bar. Riverhouse, right next to the water tower at 3015 River Road. Reservations recommended. Make food service easier with help from Dine Company, the restaurant store. If you prep, cook, or serve food, we serve you. Shop Louisville's largest selection of new and used food equipment and smallwares in-store or online at DineCompany.com. Experience the difference our people make at Dine Company, family-owned and operated since 1982. Italian at its finest, Volare. Inspired cuisine by Chef Josh Moore intimate dining, private events, and year-round patio seating. Savor Volare. Cocktails and dinners seven nights a week. Volare on Frankfurt Avenue.
authentic Mexican cuisine at Gustavo's with five locations, including one on Hurstbourne Parkway. It's food that goes way beyond burritos and tacos with everything from sizzling fajitas to seafood. The bar is stocked with bourbon and one of the best selections of tequila in the area and Gustavo's own Vida de Reyes Mexican lager with a hint of jalapeno. Taste and feel the authenticity at Gustavo's Mexican Grill in Crestwood, LaGrange, Prospect, Norton Commons, and now on Hurstbourne. Open every day for lunch and dinner. Gustavo's Mexican Grill.